A reading from Matthew. Then Jesus summoned his 12 disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to cure every disease and every sickness. These are the names of the 12 apostles. First, Simon, also known as Peter, and his brother Andrew. James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. Philip and Bartholomew. Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector. James and Alphaeus and Thaddeus. Simon, the Cananean, and Judas Iscariot, the one who betrayed him. These 12 Jesus sent out with the following instructions. Go nowhere among the Gentiles and enter no town of the Samaritans, but rather go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, proclaim the good news. The kingdom of heaven has come near. This is the gathering of the 12. I have a sudden urge to scream out, apostles, assemble. Sort of the battle cry that Jesus uh, gives as he picks his team, he picks his squad to go out and fight evil. And he does so appropriately because these 12 that he gathers are imbued with power. He gives them power. And the power that the 12 have are the power over unclean spirits and the power to heal. These 12 uh, have been picked because of their gifts and they all have something to bring to the table. And so these 12, along with the power that they now have, are being sent out to do the work that Christ has given them to do. Now, on the surface, it might not sound as welcoming or inviting because he says, uh, do not go to the Gentiles or to the town of the Samaritans. The target audience uh, that this was written for uh, were people who were of the synagogue, ancient people of the synagogue, these ancient uh, Jewish worshipers. Uh, the target audience is them because they are being uh, shown a new way. They are uh, looking to convert persons of the synagogue who are going to be uh, new to Christianity and to help to give them uh, understanding of what this is all about. Later in Matthew, there will be information about how salvation will be for everybody, Gentiles included, and that will be in addition to what they've already cultivated in their ministry. It'll be in addition to what they have so far. It will also be part of the mission. But for now, what the 12 are instructed to do, according to this particular story, is to go to specific people, to go to the lost sheep. And these lost sheep are the lost sheep of these ancient Jewish uh, tradition. These lost sheep who need to find their way, these lost sheep who need somebody to help guide them. And clearly uh, there is something wrong in the community where uh, there are sheep who are lost and they are not where they're supposed to be. And so the 12 apostles are given a mission if they choose to accept. Uh, then they have their hands full to round up these lost sheep and to cure all who are sick and in need and to make things that are unclean clean. Now, every Sunday we get together, we worship, we are sent out as well. And we are sent out very similar to how these 12 are being sent out. We're being sent out to the world to spread the good news. Sound familiar? That's exactly what these 12 are being told to do. So we are connected through a very long and storied tradition to these apostles, and we are doing the very same thing. We're going out to spread the good news. Instructions might be a little different. We're going out to everybody. We know that already up front, uh, but we are also in charge and we also have power. We also have a particular power. We have the light of Christ that we have with us, and that is powerful. And we are told to take that and to spread the good news wherever we go. So as we continue forth, let us remember that we are connected all the way back down to these 12 apostles that were selected and sent out. We have something in common with them.
and we are given the same job to spread the good news of Jesus Christ. Amen.